What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, World Boxing Council, better known as the WBC, once again uh, raises their ugly head, right? In the sport of boxing, with the politics in the sport of boxing, causing more and more confusion within the sport of boxing. Now, Mauricio Suleiman is saying that the WBC will never, until the situation with, between Ukraine and Russia resolved, that they will not be backing undefeated WBA light heavyweight world champion Russian superstar boxer Dmitry Bivol, who is undefeated and a WBA champion, they won't sanction him. So they're stating that they're not going to they're going to strip unified light heavyweight undefeated world champion Russian Canadian superstar boxer Arta Better Beef. Y'all hear what I said? Arta Better Beef is a Russian Canadian heavyweight champion. Okay? He represents Russia as well. But since Arta Better Beef recognizes as Canadian, they sanction him. Okay? Uh, just to give you guys an understanding of what's taking place here, okay, this is because Dimitri Bivol, going to tell you the truth about this situation, is that Dimitri Bivol, who is uh, 21 wins, no losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, he is uh, 32 years of age, 6 feet tall with a 72 inch arm each, he just dominated and defeated four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer who is the undisputed super middleweight world champion, widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing in Saul Canelo Alvarez. 58 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. Canelo Alvarez is 32 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. So Dimitri Bivol, May of last year, okay? Well, this was a year ago, May of last year, Canelo Alvarez lost to Dimitri Bivol via unanimous decision, and he out got he got outclassed. He won all but maybe two to three rounds. He got outclassed in a fight. And Canelo Alvarez, he can't sleep. Then Dimitri Bivol, he went on to dominate undefeated Mexican uh, former world champion Gilberto Zordo Ramirez, outclassed him, winning every single round. But Can Canelo Alvarez, he's uncomfortable. He can't sleep. The fact that Dimitri Bivol. He needs that rematch. But Bivol, dominating Canelo the way he did and being the reigning WBA champion, he's no slouch. And dominating Zordo Ramirez, Dimitri Bivol said that if he rematched Canelo in September, because Canelo got a fight coming up May 6th against John Ryder, single to my weekend against John Ryder, and Dimitri Bivol stated that if they do have a rematch, it has to take place at 168, <coughs> excuse me, for Canelo Alvarez's undisputed titles. So Dimitri Bivol wants to fight for those titles. Canelo Alvarez stated that he wants to fight and beat Dimitri Bivol, but he wants to do it at Bivol's way. He wants to go back up to 175 where he was a champion, and he wants to challenge Dimitri Bivol at 175. He wants to rectify it in Dimitri Bivol's backyard. He don't want no excuses. <clears throat> so kudos to Canelo. But Bivol saying he has no, no reason to fight Canelo Alvarez. He don't fight for money. He fights for legacy. So the only way he'll fight Canelo Alvarez is if the fight takes place at 168. He's not going to fight him at 175 because Canelo Alvarez made so many excuses. He wants to get his just due. So, and he wants to be undisputed in two separate weight classes. So it gives him the opportunity which he's not a big fight, a big light heavyweight to begin with. So it gives him an opportunity to be a two division champion, two division undisputed champion. So he wants to fight. He said, if I fight him, it has to be a 168 or we're not going to fight. And so that being said, now suddenly Mauricio Suleiman is stating that if Bivol and Arta better be fight for undisputed, which only makes sense, right? They're the only two champions standing at 175. So they're saying now that if Arta better be, and Dimitri Bivol fight, they're going to strip and not recognize Arthur Better Beef 
as the champion who has 19 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 38 years of age, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch arm reach. Okay. Uh, birthplace. Okay. Birthplace, uh, Russia residents, Quebec, Canada, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. That's where he resides. He was birthed and born Russian. He is a Russian boxer. He recognizes as uh, uh, his residence as Canadian, but he's not a Canadian fighter. And they rep they they recognize him in his last fight, January of this year, against Anthony Yard, where he stopped and got an eighth round knockout over Anthony Yard. They didn't strip Arthur Better Beaver the title and say, "Well, we can't have a Russian athlete recognizing our our belts and our sanctioned body and our brand." Until this, till this situation is resolved between Russia and, and Ukraine, now they want to uphold the rules because Dmitry Bivol re resides wherever he resides. He don't. He don't. So if Dmitry Bivol moved to New York, the WBC will be okay with it. So if if Dmitry Bivol said, "Well, you know what? I'm a New York fighter now," right? Because he was actually born in Kazakhstan. Which is ironic. Talk about Kaz uh, Kazakhstan. Ky Kyrgyzstan is where Dmitry Bivol was born, right? And Artur Bedabiev was born in Russia as well. But they don't deny Artur Bedabiev. So now suddenly he wants this big fight with. He wants this big fight with Artur Bedabiev. And it's an undisputed match with Arthur Better Beef. So suddenly, since they're going to have fight for undisputed, and Canelo wants that fight in September. So Canelo got John Ryder uh, next Saturday. Or well, this upcoming Saturday, because we Sunday. So this upcoming Saturday, Canelo Ivers is going to fight John Ryder. And so he wants Dimitri Bevel in that rematch in September. So suddenly, to put a halt to this undisputed match, they're going to tell Dimitri ought to better be if he fights Dimitri Bivol for undisputed they're going to strip him of his title or not recognize him as the champion for that fight until suddenly this war ends which means they're telling you Dimitri Bivol has to fight Canelo Alvarez at 175 because even if he came down to fight Canelo Alvarez at 168 like he wants then the WBC is going to uphold the same rules and tell Canelo Alvarez that they're going to strip him of his WBC title. I find that very hard to believe as well as this audience watching this. You don't believe that uh, they would recognize, you know, uh, they would strip or remove Canelo Alvarez as the WBC champion and tell Canelo Alvarez, this is not for undisputed. Do you think for a second that they're going to do that with Canelo Alvarez? Absolutely not. And so this is a reason for Canelo Alvarez to tell Dimitri Bivol, well, we got to fight at 175 because you ain't fighting for undisputed anyway. The boxing boxing is becoming a joke with the politics. So let's say this drags on this unfortunate situation and chain of events between Russia and the Ukraine drags on for another three years. That means Dmitry Bivol can never fight for undisputed ever. So they put in a halt to one individual's career. One individual. In the entire sport of boxing, they're going to put a halt to his accomplishments and his career throughout every weight class. Because if the WBC won't do it in light heavyweight, why would they do it at cruiserweight? Why would they do it at junior well, junior middleweight? Why would they do it at uh, uh, any weight class? They won't. So you telling me Dimitri Bivol can never, ever fight for undisputed. Now, imagine if this unfortunate chain of events and situation drags on. For another four years. This dude is already 33. So they stop in one individual's career. So if he moves to New York and say, I, 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 I recognize New York as my home and my place of residence, then they'll remove the ban? Will they suddenly remove the ban if, 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 uh, uh, if he moves and says, I recognize New York City as my place of residence or the United States as my place of residence, then they would remove the ban. 
Boxing is becoming quickly becoming a joke. I understand their, their stance and want to represent, but you're doing this out of nowhere and you're doing this solely because you know Canelo Alvarez. Dimitri Bevo now don't have no leg to stand on because why would he fight Canelo Alvarez at 168 if it's not for no belt? It's not for undisputed. Boy, oh boy, sport of boxing is a joke. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.